Hi everybody, it's Miranda with Multiplicity Crafts. And today we are going to figure out what to do with all of the mini cards that we receive over the years. Now if you're anything like me, you have a bunch of cards that you don't want to part with that you just keep in a box or somewhere stored away collecting dust. So in today's video, I want to show you ways that you can enjoy these cards and get them out, as well as some alternative storage ideas for you. Now this is just a smattering of the cards that I own, and I still have. I just have a few here, so it wouldn't be super embarrassing to show you truly how many I have. <laughs> so let's begin with today's first idea. Now this idea is kind of a given, but I think many of us just don't realize you can frame these. You can display them on an easel. You can display them on a mantle. It doesn't just have to be when the card is brand new or when you just received it, you can display them anytime. And there's been a few cards I've received over the years that have been so beautiful that I just had to frame them. So you can always do that and you can swap them out seasonally or however you so choose. So you can get more life out of your cards and more enjoyment. The next idea is to collage them. Now, this idea is actually a space-saving tip because you can fit uh, roughly about four cards, I would say, onto an 8.5 by 11 sheet of paper. And we're doing this kind of scrapbook style. And once you have those collaged on, you can punch some holes in them with a three-hole punch and put them in a binder. Now, here I just have one sheet finished, so it's kind of lost its effectiveness. But you can imagine me flipping through a whole album of these, which helps me to enjoy them for years to come. You can also include the inside signature and sentiment. Okay, moving on to the next idea, and that is to categorize them. So I have a little bin that I got years ago from the Dollar Tree, and you can use something like that, or I have one linked below from scrapbook.com that will fit your cards. But basically, you can just put them in by category. Again, this is not all of my cards, just for example purposes to show you how I've categorized a few of them. And so behind each tab, I put the cards that go with that particular category. Now, it's up to you how you categorize these. You could categorize them any way you choose. You could categorize them even by color if you wanted, or by recipient, by sender, by holiday or event. There's so many possibilities and ways that you can categorize your cards. For me, the easiest way and the most logical way for me was just to categorize them by the holiday. On one of them, I have Baby Girl. Those are mostly just uh, cards that my daughter had received. And so we don't have too many of those now, so I just made a special tab for that. Taking this a step further, you can go ahead and put this in an album. And you would be surprised how many cards these little sleeves can hold. I don't have them maxed out here in this example, but basically you just put them behind the tab in the sleeve and then you can have them all consolidated. These little albums are the perfect size and they come in a variety of colors. I will also have these linked below for you in case you're interested. Another idea is to scan or photograph your cards. What you can do is, if you have a scanner, you can lay your cards face down, and you can even scan the inside of them if you so choose. Now, on this particular example, I'm just showing me scanning one card, but you could probably fit upwards of four cards, depending on their size, onto your scanner at a time. And so once they're scanned in, you have them in your computer, and you can enjoy them without having to keep the physical card. You can just recycle or repurpose them. Another option, you can see I photographed them all on the same background, and that just gives me a nice cohesive look, and I can save the cards for years to come. And last but not least, I think a good idea is to repurpose the cards. So this particular card I used as the cover for this little mini calendar I made. I just kind of made up a little quick one on my computer and printed it out, and I thought that it would be really cute to have in my purse, and I just used a card that I'd received for the front cover. I cut that down to size. 
Now there are some additional repurposing ideas that you can use, such as making your cards into bookmarks, ephemera, fridge magnets, mini album covers, coasters, and so much more. You, I'm sure, can think of many more possibilities to do with your many, many cards. So I hope this video was helpful for you. Please leave comments below if you have any additional ideas, and I hope that you will subscribe and leave me a comment as well as a thumbs up if you enjoy this video. Thanks for watching and have a great day.